so I am actually on my way to UFIT with my friend Rachel. We are going to the gym, pump some iron, and then we're heading to the beach. And I'm just really happy we're going to the gym because literally these last two to three weeks, I've just been slacking so bad on eating healthy and working out. I've just been really terrible. So I'm trying to get the ball rolling again and get my summer bod back in shape. Um, I just finished eating these Dannon light and fit Greek yogurts. I actually don't like the Dannon um, light and fit Greek yogurts. I like their regular light and fit line, but the Greek yogurts kind of, eh, it's like chunky. So, but I had it in my fridge, so I just wanted to have a nice little snack before I was to work out. Sorry, I'm vlogging and driving, and you guys know this is dangerous. Do not do it. I should maybe invest in one of those vlogging stands that I could stick my camera in and just talk to you guys while I'm driving, but you know. That's for another day. So yeah, I'm just going to the gym and then we are going to roast in the sun, which again, I'm very excited for that because I need a tan. So I'm um, just drinking my coffee to get ready for the gym. Mm. So difficult. Um, if you guys want to know how I like my coffee because um, say you're a health want to be too or like you want to get back into the health and fitness thing coffee is a great appetite suppressant it um, helps boost your metabolism and just kind of keeps you full even if you haven't eaten anything um, sometimes you know people drink coffee in replacement of breakfast although I don't recommend that because like I'm trying to gain muscle I'm not necessarily trying to lose weight so for me that would just be kind of stupid because um, you know, I would be just losing weight and plus it makes you go to the bathroom. So that would be more added weight loss. But if you are trying to lose weight, drinking a cup of coffee in the morning is a great idea. I like my coffee with a little bit of milk and um, two Truvias or, you know, whatever sugar I have. Um, so that's how I take it. And I also have my lemon and cuke water. So I'm drinking that in between sips of my coffee. You can really taste the cucumber. Cucumber is definitely the strongest, uh, like natural flavor to add to your water. Um, you just need a couple slices of that, and bam, you got cuke water. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go work out and then I will take you around my day. It makes me so happy. If you guys like country music, which you're lame if you don't, but I absolutely love country music, and Toby Keith is one of my favorites. I've seen him two or three times in concert, and he is just always a blast. He's always pretty, uh, pretty medicated when he's uh, performing, but he's a good, he's a good time, and I just love how patriotic he is. I love how he's all about our country and America and just freedom and it's just, ah, oh, it gives me chills just talking about it. Any man who's patriotic and any woman who's patriotic, you guys are a friend of mine in my book. You better support our country. You might not support the war, but you better damn sure support our troops. Getting all the dudes in it. Hello, so I just left the gym. I don't look too sweaty because we actually kind of did like a light workout. It was not as intense as I was hoping, but that only means that I need to get myself in the gym more often and keep working out for the next couple days or, you know, for the summer basically. But I need to get myself back into a routine because that's been the whole problem. Um, I used to go like after school, when I had the days I went to school. Now that I'm not in school, I'm kind of just like, so. Yeah, but I feel so much better now that I uh, worked out and now we are just going to change and head to the beach. But um, like I told you guys, I'm interested in doing a fitness Q&A. So if you guys have any questions, like what do I do for my workouts, uh, favorite healthy snacks, just any questions that are fitness and health related, please ask them down below or Facebook me, tweet me, anything. Um, just make sure you tag me so I can see it. 
and um, I will answer those questions for you. So like today for my workout, we did 35 minutes of not the elliptical, but it's like a machine that's similar to it. Um, I did like a butt workout and then I did a weight loss workout. And then I did a little bit of hip abduction, which is the machine that you put in between your legs and you kind of go like this with your legs or you go out with your legs, if that makes sense. I'll insert a clip here, you guys will see that. But uh, yeah, so now I am just gonna go change and we are going to get our tan on. Guys, paddle boarding out there and surfing, even I though there's no so waves. And there's lots of love bugs flying around. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see them. Rachel's freaking out over here, but it is absolutely beautiful at the beach. Those girls are freaking out over there too. Everyone hates the love bugs. It's kind of weird how they just fly around having sex, isn't it? That's what they're doing. Okay, I just want to ask you guys a question. Am I the only one who hates going into the water at the beach? I just, I don't like cold water. I don't like going in the pool. I don't like going in the ocean. So while everybody else is cooling off in the water, I'm over here sweating my kuna is off laying on the beach, but it's okay because I'll get tan, even though you get tanner in the water, but mm, I just can't do the water, but guys are playing soccer everybody's uh, just basically hanging out it's getting packed now at the beach these guys are playing over here soccer moves oh Let's see if I could catch it on camera just keep it there Let's see if he does any cool tricks oh no no cool tricks oh love bug so that's it. I'm waiting for my friend Alexis to come. You guys have seen her in older videos, but I haven't seen her in like a year because she's been up at FSU. So yeah, we're just waiting for her to come. <laughs> hey guys, look at this beautiful day at the beach. Can't tell you what beach though. She's taking over. I'm taking over YouTube right now. My name's Alexis. You can find me down there. <laughs> Down where? Down there. Where? <laughs> Down where? <laughs> on the, on the, the what? The link. The link. Oh. You're going to put her link down there. Tell people to follow you on Twitter. Yeah. Tweet me. Tweet me at acorn. It's A-Y-Y underscore corn for really corn. random facts and shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're here at the beach. It's a beautiful day. Like, look. Look at the sun. Oh, I don't yeah. know what it is. The sun's not good. And everyone's like paddle boarding and doing stuff. We got our, you got our passion tea lemonade. We got our waters to stay hydrated. We got our sunscreen to protect your skin. We got our cell phones to take pictures. And that's it. That's all I got. That's it. So I will see you guys later. Deuces. I'm eating last night's leftover dinner. It was a ham, pepperoni, sausage, mushroom, and cheese. Stromboli, but is it weird that I like it better cold than hot like I think I like a second date pizza For breakfast when it's cold way better than I liked it fresh out the oven. I don't know. Is that just me? Well, no So I just got back from the beach and I have a little grocery slash Haul for you guys. I have like a few makeup and beauty products um, But look at the view outside. Look at how nice it is outside it's the pool. So pretty still, but um, it's like 3.30. I've had enough of this on. My face is burnt. I can already tell, but I just wanted to show you the few things that I got. So first off, I guess we will start with Marshall. It's the Marshall's bag. Um, the first thing I got was this Batiste dry shampoo. This is the a hint of dark and deep brown. This was um, $5.99. I don't know if it's more expensive or cheaper at like Ulta than it would be at Marshalls, but I saw this and I've been wanting to try this. And I actually wanna do a good, the bad, and the ugly on dry shampoo, so I figured, um, I've heard great things about this anyway, so why not give it a whirl? I also picked up the uh, BB Rimmel BB Cream. This is the 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup. Um, this is in medium. I'm actually running out of my Maybelline BB cream, so I wanted to try out a new one, um, and the color of my Maybelline one is in light, and, but now that it's summer, definitely need the medium one. Obviously, I didn't get that at uh, Marshall's. I got that at uh, Walgreens. And then with that, I got the Rimmel uh, Scandal Eyes. This is the waterproof eyeliner, and this color is nude, I believe. Yeah, 
005 nude. I just got this um, to use on my waterline. Look, she's just plopping down. She don't even care. I just got this to use instead of a white. So that's a swatch of it. You can see it's very opaque and the color glides on very smooth. So I'm excited to use more of that. Don't mind my veiny hands. <laughs> Uh, also from Marshalls, I picked up a new shampoo because I'm running out of my Joyco Moisture Recovery Shampoo. So I got this Palm Smooth Shampoo. This is from Juice Organics, free of parabens, pesticides, petroleum, you know, all of that good stuff. And it's a pomegranate smelling shampoo, which I love pomegranate. And this was $6.99 Focus. Well, it's not going to, but it was $6.99 for this big tube. It's pretty big, so try that. And then I'm also running out of my eye cream and I wanted to try a new one so I picked up the Yes to Carrots Moisturizing Eye Cream and this says Yes to Carrots and Pomegranate to help restore elasticity to those gorgeous eyes of yours. I know, I know I got gorgeous eyes. Um, and that was $4.99 so I will let you know what I think of those. I also picked up this simple eye roll-on. Um, it's kind of like an eye gel. I got this for the morning time just to kind of freshen my eyes says it has vitamins in it. Mason says this burns his eyes. I haven't found a problem with it, but I'm gonna keep testing it out so I can give you guys a review on it. Before I do my grocery haul, I wanted to pamper myself after the beach. I'm just like, ugh, after the beach I'm tired and I feel like gooky kind of, so I'm doing a face mask and then I'm doing a hair mask and then I'm showering. Hopefully my tan develops a little more, but um, just wanted to strip all the gunk out of my face. So that's what I'm doing, I'm pampering myself. So I wanted to show you the groceries I also got. I just picked up a few things. I am trying to get on the right track again. So I picked up some fruit. I got some strawberries. You can see the camera. Um, I picked up some bananas either to eat on, on their own or to make my banana cinnamon protein muffins that I've been making. I got two lemons because I, if you guys can see my clips, I've been loving lemon water. I picked up these lime and salt popcorns. These are so good. They only come with four in a bag, but I got them buy one, get one free, which is why I have two navel oranges, which now that I'm looking at it, this one looks like it's all mushy, so bad choice. But yeah, that's what I got for my grocery haul. I just wanted to show you something else. Um, I got a Lulu's package. If you guys have heard of Lulu's, I've sh shown clothes from them several times before. Um, I got this pair of shoes. How cute are these i thought these would be perfect for summer nice thick cork wedges and look at that i love the little heart on i also got these wedges from dollhouse these are kind of like a snake skin with a pink and red pattern so those are from dollhouse and i got two maxi dresses one of them okay let's see how am i gonna do this has this like lace bibbing um, it's a corset lace bib, and it's a maxi dress, and it has a slit going in the middle. Is that the only slit? Is there one or two? Oh, okay. So see, it has a slit right there. So you could see your leg on this side, and you can see your leg on the other side. And then I also got like a gray tank maxi. This is hard to show the video. And the reason why I like this one is because it has a low back. It has a nice low V back. So um, if you guys want to put together what type of video I'm going to be doing, if you guys want to guess, then you could write it down below. But it involves maxi dresses and shoes. Being crazy. Oh, are you being crazy? <laughs> I wanted to show you a quick tip on how to be able to drink more water. First off, I got this huge tumbler, if you guys could see how big it is in comparison to my hand. I got this for $5 at Walmart, and I love the little Vera Bradley design on it. Anyway, what I've been doing is I've been cutting up fresh lemon and cu cucumber. I don't have any cucumber with me right now. And I basically drink it like that. It adds a nice flavor, and it makes me drink it easier because I just, I could... I could barely drink one of these all day, like just one of them. I just don't drink water. So this is something that I've been doing that's definitely been helping me drink more water. And you can honestly add anything to your water. You could add raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, you know, anything that you want. So I really like the lemon. Like I said, it's really refreshing. This Palm Beach cooler candle is absolutely amazing. As you can see, I have like none left. So like I said, I wanted to pamper myself, so I'm just doing hot olive oil hair treatment. You literally just take pure olive oil and microwave it for about 45 seconds to a minute. 
So perfect, I got 45 seconds right there. And you just dump it all over your head, put it in the ends, and then I'm literally going to stick my head in this plastic bag so that it captures the heat and the olive oil penetrates a lot better. So you will see me looking like a weirdo very soon. Just laying in bed with my uh, nice little hair wrap on. Like I said, I was going to do a hot olive oil treatment and I did. And right now I am just editing my vlog currently and I'm also watching some YouTube videos. I have a couple tabs open um, Well, the video is loading. But yeah, that's pretty much what I am doing for the rest of the day. It is currently 514 and Mason should be home in like an hour or two so I'm excited to see him and that's about it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and say hi in the comments down below leave me comments anything you have to say just write it down there I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you later Mwah.